You got a good Parcel story? Give me, give me your best one that's safe for work. I've got about a million Parcel stories. Give, give me a good one that's safe for work. I mean, I can't get enough of them. And obviously, you see, you know, he coached the Cowboys. You signed as a free agent there after your stint with the Giants, where you where you got a taste of the Super Bowl. Uh, you got a good one where he or or something that yeah, you I got a great one. Go I got a great. It. I'll tell you what. Here's one for you. All right. So this is one of the first times I'm. We had just gotten there, and when he. He got there, all right, the Cowboys had just hired him in 03, mm-hmm. and he gets Sean Payton, and really that's how I ended up in Dallas was because Sean vouched for me, and so I, I go there, and and so I'm new, you know, it's his first year, he's trying to set the tone, and uh, and so he wanted hard-nosed, aggressive guys, competitive, all those things, but, you know, fighting, you ended up, it was a waste of time. You know, it's a waste of reps, it's a waste of time, you know, to fight. And it's one thing to stand your ground, but so we get in there and there's a basically a backup defensive tackle and a backup defensive end, and we go a rep and they get, they get in a fight. And they grab each other and it goes. We finally get them broken up. It probably takes 60 seconds for all this to go down. And, and, uh, and Bill doesn't really say anything, and we go a rep again, and they get in it again, the next rep. And we get it broken up, you know, takes another minute or so. And so Bill just stops practicing. He said, okay, if this happens one more time, he goes, we're all going to circle up and watch you guys fight. (laughs) And uh, so we go a third time. Sure enough, these two get into it again. (laughs) And Bill, we get them broken up. Bill blows the whistle. He gets everybody in a circle. And he said, you two get in here. He said, take your helmets off, both of you. And they take their helmets off. And he goes, let's go. (laughs) <laughs> and they just stand there, and both of them are kind of cocked, but they're looking at each other. They're looking at Bill. They're looking around. They're looking at each other. They look back, and neither one of them can throw a punch. They're like, wait a minute. This just got real. We don't have helmets on. And so they didn't do it. <laughs> they didn't do it, and then he made them run to the fence. And so, anyway, it was uh, it was classic. I mean, Bill, there's about a million stories of, of what how he was and what, what he was about. It was pretty good. Real brief, I'll tell you one uh, that I've told on this show before and at the risk of repeating myself, certainly for the guys in this room. Uh, Paul Tagliabue told me this story that he went when uh, Parcells was the head coach of the Jets. They're standing on the 50-yard line and uh, practice is going down and there's some goal line drills going down all the way at the end of the field and Parcells is just tearing people a new one based on what he's seeing down in the goal line drills. And Tagliabue goes, we're the same age. He goes, I, I can hardly see five feet in front of me without my glasses, Bill. How can you see 50 yards down the field? And he takes out a list of names out of his pocket, and he goes, I can't see a damn thing. I just have made a list of 10 guys I was going to tear a new one today. I'm on number three. Stick around. I got seven more to go. <laughs> That's, that is 100% coach. That is Marcel's man. I'll tell you what, you knew when it was your day, you're getting it. It didn't matter what you did. It was your day, man. It was coming. I assume you had your day. One of those days, I'm sure you had uh, something oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, I had my day. they come around. Everybody was going to get it. He, Look, he... It didn't matter. Even if you, you know, you're playing pretty good. You're not a guy who's going to make mistakes. You're pretty smart. You're kind of everything he's looking for. You're going to get your day because he wants to know how you react to it. I mean, that he was, he was so much into the psychological part of the game, you know. And uh, I tell you what, man, he would. It, nobody could push buttons like that man could. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 